We can't decide if the lighting's good. Is it? Am I too far away? I feel like the lighting's bad. Hi guys, today I'm here to film my most requested video ever. Today I'm filming how I became an Instagram influencer. I literally hate that word, but I am going to explain to you guys how I am where I am right now on Instagram. I obviously have a long ways to go and I still have many, many goals, but I just kind of want to give you guys a little insight on how I've gotten to the point that I'm at right now. I get questions about this all of the time from you guys in my DMs, so I thought that this just could be a very helpful video to kind of give you guys a little better idea of what I do to achieve what I have. I guess that's the best way to say it. I wrote down a ton of questions you guys asked me and I want to keep this intro short and sweet because I'm going to talk about a lot of things. I hope this is helpful and I hope you enjoy this. I love you guys and let's get right on into it. The first question, how did you get started slash your journey? Basically, when I started Instagram, I just did Instagram because it was fun for me. I never really thought anything Thing would come out of it but I've always had a love for creativity and I just kind of used Instagram as my outlet for that so in high school I felt like I was one of the only girls at my school that consistently like tried to post on Instagram and I just never really cared what anyone thought just did it because I loved it the more I did it the more I kind of got my feel for what I enjoyed creating and once I kind of started making my Instagram solely fashion I realized that that was my passion so from there I just expanded on it I hope that explains it. My journey was basically just loving to create and having an outlet to do so on. And so with me growing up and me evolving, I obviously, my taste evolved and I discovered that I really wanted to focus my Instagram on fashion probably my freshman year of college. How to find your own style. My biggest tip on finding your own style is be you. There are so many people on Instagram that, no shade thrown at all, but that tend to go for the same look. And honestly, I mean, I have everyone tries it out. Personally, it's not for me. And I just feel like you get noticed when you are authentic. People can tell when you create content that's truly you and that you truly love and that is what helps people want to actually engage with you and stay in touch with you and your life when people can actually tell that they feel like they know you through your Instagram rather than just a little bit more meaningless posting I guess. That's the best way to say that. But I found my own style because I'm like very expensive experimental when it comes to my clothing and I feel like the more that I shot the more I tried the more I kind of figured out the style and what I like to style how I like to capture what I styled and the more you do it really the more you figure it out okay this is a tip from me to you guys I wrote down this and I wanted to mention it I view my Instagram now at this point that I'm at as a portfolio and I believe that this is a good tool to use Instagram is more of a tool for me. I use it because I want to show you guys my life, but I also want to have it to show off for a job that I want to get for really anything. I just think it's a really good way to capture your vibe and who you are and what you can create and what you're able to do. Kind of depending on whatever avenue you want to pursue, whether that's fashion, beauty, health, fitness, etc. You can kind of base your Instagram off of your passion. So mine's fashion and travel, so I just keep my Instagram centered around that. If you love nutrition or food, you can take that passion and just build on it. Really just think about what is you. You don't have to change your loves and your passions to fit in with other people. You just take what you love and you build on it. And Instagram is a really good way to show what you're good at. Think of it as a portfolio. I always tell people that. A huge question that I get all the time is, how do you land collaborations? How to reach out to companies? Do you email companies? How to respond, etc. To answer this question, there is no really right question. I personally never started collaborating with any companies until I had about 7,000 followers. Before that, I just kind of posted my travel photos, which kind of grew me a following in high school. And then once I kind of figured out that I really liked fashion and styling, I would tag my outfits before I ever even got sent clothes from those brands just to 
kind of show that like that's what I'm wanting to do so before I ever got my first collaboration which was with a really really small small business it was like a t-shirt company based out of Greensboro North Carolina I worked with them my senior year of high school I believe or it was like summer going into freshman year of college basically they just sent me some t-shirts and I styled those t-shirts and from there on once my Instagram had the vibe that I'm here to be a fashion blogger other companies started recognizing that when I would tag companies that I wasn't even working with sometimes I would get emailed that is why my Instagram is a business profile in order so if a company let's say you tag nasty out I used to buy nasty out clothes before I ever started working with them I would tag them and eventually I just kept tagging them and kept tagging them that I guess they saw one of my photos and emailed me asking if I wanted to work with them that was like my first big collaboration and I'm pretty sure it was my freshman year of college that was like the most exciting day ever and still to this day that's like my most what is the word I collaborate with them every single month I get to pick out a shopping cart every single month and it's so crazy because they were like the first big company that I worked with and I swear that I like started working with them because I really liked their clothing and I would always tag them sorry that was really long but basically what I'm saying is is start tagging the companies you want to work with it never hurts to send them a DM if I DM them I always say hi I love your company is there an email that I can best contact you at for collaborations sometimes they respond with an email sometimes you don't get a response and sometimes they just want to set up the collaboration in your DMs so it really just depends but the more you do it the more you get the hang of it and trust me I have reached out to so many companies that never responded and that's okay I mean sometimes it's not meant to be sometimes I don't have a large enough following which is fine I'm perfectly happy with where I'm at but never get discouraged because there's always the right companies for you to work with if you want to do that next question how did I grow followers this is a very common question my biggest tip for growing followers is finding your niche or or niche however you want to pronounce it and just going for it when you post consistently you grow a lot of followers when I was posting one post a day probably starting a year ago I started to grow a little bit more consistently my growth is up and down really still to this day like I don't know it's just hard to keep growing consistently at least for me but posting consistently interacting with other bloggers or with other people in the field that you kind of want to enter into so finding accounts that kind of do what you do and consistently interacting with them talking to them that just builds good relationships through Instagram and you all support one another um working with photographers I got a lot of my followers from shooting with photographers because then they would post me on their page and people would follow me from their page um being reposted by companies if they reposted my photo or put me on their story I would get followers from their followers and that's a really really good way to grow make sure you're always tagging accounts that you're working with or wearing um, I always find like inspo pages that I tag because sometimes in a blue moon I get reposted on one of those and basically just by staying authentic if people know that you're really working hard and you really love what you're doing then they want to support you or we would all hope so <laughs> Next question, how do you connect with photographers and other influencers? So when trying to connect with photographers, I will either like a few of their photos and then follow them and sometimes vice versa. Sometimes photographers will like some of my photos and then they follow me and they'll DM me or I'll DM them. It, either, it works either way. Sometimes I've DM'd photographers and never got a response and that is a-okay and sometimes I've gotten DMs from photographers and I don't respond either you could just kind of get a good vibe you have to be careful if you work with photographers that you know other people that have worked with it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable but if not we just kind of either I'll reach out or they'll reach out we'll message back and forth and set something up sorry my camera cut off but I'm pretty sure I was at the question how do I connect with other influencers and either I will like a bunch of their photos and comment on some of their photos just to kind of get their attention and then I'll follow them and like send them a message saying how much I love their page da 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 or they'll like a bunch of my photos and then kind of do the same thing send me a message
message. That's just kind of how the conversation starts. I have made so many friends through Instagram. It's kind of insane, but I can think of a few off the top of my head that literally we started talking a year and a half ago and I probably had like 5,000 followers and they probably had like 5,000 followers and now some of my friends have like 100,000 followers. So go them. But yeah, just staying in contact with people that you can really relate with and just genuine people that are doing it for the right reasons, here to help you. If you're here to help them, then it'll all work out in the end. But honestly, just don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. I mean, the worst that can happen is they don't respond. If you never reach out, you'll never know. So I just say go for it and see where it goes. Okay, how do you edit and organize your feed? I want to do an entire updated video on how I edit my Instagram photos and how I take those, but that will be a completely separate video. I use Unum to organize my feed. I normally try to pre-shoot and have at least six photos ahead of my post for that day to kind of play around with to make sure my page is flowing in the right order. I don't think your page has to make sense in order for you to be a great blogger or influencer, but personally for me, I just like when my page looks pretty and Unum helps me play around and organize and achieve that. Another big tip that I wanted to tell you guys is it's really important to keep your stories updated. I feel like I always see people's stories and sometimes miss their posts. So if you have a new post, I always add that to my story just in case it doesn't show up in the feed. And then the people that are watching my stories will see my post. And I just try to update my stories daily, what I'm doing just to keep my followers engaged. And because at this point, I just like to talk to my phone and tell you guys what I'm doing. So I think that that's really important. It gets a lot of engagement. That's like a good way to start conversation with your followers is through your stories. Do I make money from Instagram? The golden question. Um, so I do make money with Instagram. Everything I post does not make me money. And have I made a fortune? No, but do I get paid sometimes? Yes. Honestly, that's like kind of at the point that I'm at. I am trying to figure out how to market myself better and how to kind of tell my rates when I send emails just because I'm the type of person that feels so awkward asking for money to post a photo just because I do love it. But some companies just directly say, how much do you charge? for one post and at that point I send them my rates we work out a payment and that's just how it goes I've probably worked with maybe like 10 or 12 companies that have been paid but it's not consistent most of the companies that I work with are they send me a product that I pick out in exchange for posts which honestly is amazing with me because I am not spending a fortune of money on clothes anymore. It's just a mutual collaboration, which is amazing. And I look forward to picking out clothes from the companies every month. I emphasized again in my notes, engage with your audience. It's very important to always comment back to people when they comment on your posts, because when you comment back to people, it pushes your posts, especially within the first hour. The first hour is the most important. So I like try to post my photos at a time Time that I have a little bit of free time that way I can kind of sit there refresh engage with the people that are commenting <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory. Another little keynote that I put in here is to truly love what you do, have fun with it. It's really not that stressful if it becomes stressful, which I have kind of let it get stressful one to two times, but that's just because I had a lot on my plate and I was trying to juggle Instagram and my life and school consistently. And if it ever gets to that point, you don't wanna continue to push yourself to where it's just annoying. I feel like people that do Instagram as a job sometimes get stressed out by it, but I feel like if you just do it because you love it and you do it when you're feeling creative and you do it when you just have a passion to do it, then you don't get burnt out and it doesn't turn into a job. It'll always stay fun for you. And of course, yes, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get this outfit up by this date and da 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 da. But that's why I try to shoot in advance. So I'm never coming up to, oh my gosh, I have to shoot this today. I have to post this today because then if I don't like the photos and I don't want to post it so I always give myself a little room to make sure that I'm loving the content I create. Best advice to get someone out of their comfort zone. I have one tip when it comes to this and that is to not care and as simple as that sounds really that's all you can do because as long as you're happy in life then 
nothing else matters. You are the most important person. And of course, you're still kind to everyone, but as long as you're doing what makes you happy, it does not matter what a single other person on the face of the earth thinks. And that comes to don't care what kind of content you create. If you love it, post it. If you're worried about what someone else is gonna think, then who cares? Because they're spending more time worried about you than they are themselves. And that just kind of shows who needs some growing up. <laughs> But yes, I would just say go for it. Like when I started doing photo shoots, I was kind of nervous to post. That's normal. So I was like, oh my God, what are people going to think? But then I was like, honestly, like, I don't care what anyone thinks. If I like the photo, then I'm going to post it. If it gets 10 likes, cool. I still love the photo. So I want to have it out there because I'm proud of it. And as long as you're proud of yourself and proud of your work, other people's opinions are nothing. Rant. Okay. I have a few more questions that I want to answer. Are you a content creator full time? No, I am not a content creator full time. I do make money on the side from content creating, but I am a full time student. I graduate this year with a personal relations degree for those curious. And I also work in the fashion industry. I do digital marketing. So I balance school, work, and Instagram. I would love to do Instagram full time though at some point and YouTube, but who wouldn't? So I love having multiple avenues of work. How big was your platform when you started receiving PR? Like I said earlier, I think I had about 7,000 followers when I like got my first collaboration, but I never really tried to get any before that. So I feel like I know friends that have 3,000 followers and reach out to companies and get collaboration. So it's really all in the work that you put in. What you put in is what you get out. And I truly believe that with all my heart. Do I have a favorite brand to work with? Honestly, I don't think I could pick one. There are so many brands that I've loved working with, but if I had to pick one, I would say Nasty Gal, just because um, the PR girl from Nasty Gal is absolutely amazing. She's so easy to work with, and it's so nice that I get to actually like just put my shopping cart together and get it. Nasty Gal or Glassons, because I get to do the same thing with Glassons. I don't know. I couldn't choose one. I think that kind of covers everything that I wanted to say. I hope that this was helpful, and I hope that I answered any questions that you guys potentially had, because I know when I was looking to do this, I started watching YouTube videos trying to figure out what I needed to do and I hope that I'm someone that can be helpful to one of you guys. So feel free if you have any other questions at all you can leave them in the comments below or you can just DM me on my Instagram. If you're here from YouTube and have no idea about my Instagram, my Instagram is just Destiny Lace. It'll be linked below but I love you guys and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. There goes my phone. Okay, bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>